Hi, and welcome to Mike's Garage. So one of my subscribers had a really good question about these eco-worthy floor standing batteries. He wanted to know kind of what came in the box besides the actual eco-worthy. Did it come with any cables at all? And, and is the manual any good? We're going to answer that right now. So here's the manual that it came with, and it's actually pretty good. It's 34 pages long and has a lot of cool stuff in it. So hopefully you can see this here. So your capacity indicator, you can look and it'll show you what the lights are. You can kind of tell where your capacity is at on it. It shows um, the status for the display and also gets into the actual uh, configurations in setting up all the communication with the dip switches on it. So pretty cool. A lot of good stuff in the manual. Like it quite a bit. Once again, 34 pages has everything that you need in it. It is in English, which is nice. What else came in here? Communication cable. So I'm going to attempt this. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but I'm going to attempt to take these eco-worthy batteries and connect it to an EG4-12000XP. If I can make it work, I'll show you, and uh, we can use SOC instead of uh, battery voltage. But we'll see. It does come with the cable. Don't know if it's long enough. It's only like three feet long. Might have to get a different one. But they do give you one. So it does come with uh, battery cables. It's two gauge. It's rated for 200C. I don't know if I want to have any battery cables go all the way up to 200C. But if you look at two gauge uh, if memory serves me correct, you can run about 130 amps through it, and that would be around 95 degrees Celsius, which is what the NEC allows. I think anything past that, you're, you're kind of pushing your limit. Um, can you run 200 amps through this? Because the BMS here is actually good for 200 amps as far as the output of it. I don't know if I'd necessarily want to run 200 amps through it, but if you're going to be running a lot less, then, then this is pretty good cables. Uh, I'm actually going to be going from 2 gauge to 2 aught, 2 slash 0. 2 aught, according to NEC, I think that's good for like 190, 195 amps. I'll be pushing maybe 200 peak on it. I'll probably never hit that level, but it will be able to match what the BMS will put out as far as uh, continuous. So 2 watt is what I'd recommend. These are good. I would, wouldn't go past 130 amps, so make sure you're, you're fusing properly. If you are going to take and use these cables and you're going to connect it to a T-class fuse, I'd probably 125, maybe 150 at a maximum, but I wouldn't push it past that. I wouldn't put on you know, uh, 200 amp, 225, 250, you know, one of the larger T-class fuses wouldn't do it. So this is what came with it. Good cable, good crimps on it. Look at that. It's not bad, but just be very wary how much power that you're going to put through it. So that's pretty much it. Uh, right now I am... Very, very slowly charging up one of these, and um, hopefully within the next week I'll have it charged, and then we can do a battery capacity test on it. Looking forward to that. And I do need a much bigger charger. I know, and it takes a while, but that's okay. Anyway, thanks again for watching Mike's Garage.